News at 10. 13 convicted killers sentenced to life without parole as juveniles have been released under a new state law. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bob Clausen. And I'm Ashley Katz. The Fair Sentencing of Minors Act that passed last year eliminated these sentences for offenders younger than 18, bringing Arkansas in line with the U.S. Supreme Court's ruling. In a story you'll only see on KRK, Jesse Tuner introduces us to the most recent release. Jesse. Yeah, Bob and Ashley, Albert Bell calls the Arkansas Parole Board Society recently determined he was ready to re-enter it. <laughs> a homecoming 25 years in the making. Yeah, who this? Albert Bell, out on parole after getting two life sentences without. My mother and my father, they taught me right and so forth, but I got caught up in the streets a little bit, making bad decisions. At 16, Bell wanted to help his parents financially. He decided to rob Cloud's grocery store in Casco with classmate Terry Sims. But according to court documents, while Bell took the money, Sims killed Julian Russell and Mary Lou Jones. Some I deeply regret. You know I me, mean? I live with that every day. The minor was convicted of both murders and given two consecutive life sentences. I thought that we was going to be executed the next day. That's how naive I was to the court system. Bell spent the next quarter of a century learning the bad. I didn't see stabbings, I didn't see rapes, you know, all of that. And that's something that a child should not have to witness. And the good, getting his GED and computer system certificate. So when the opportunity did present itself, I will be prepared so I can provide a life for my family. My mom. Opportunity came with Dorothy Holloway. She found Bell's case and used Arkansas's Fair Sentencing of Minors Act to get him out. I'm happy I'm thrilled, so I know this day is going to come for James Murphy. Murphy, at 16 years old, killed Holloway's son in 1999. Now she's fighting for his freedom, too. Love and forgiveness has him sitting here. A chance Bell also hopes for Sims, who's still in the Cummins unit. I can buy cigarettes. I can join the Army. But you can send me to jail for the rest of my life. Now that Bell has his life back, he's introducing his mom to a new man. He worried about his poor mom. He's glad to be here. That's what it is, ain't it? Yeah, this man. During his time in prison, Bell wrote letters to the, vic the families of his victims, but never heard back. He says his rehabilitation was also for them to show that he's not a waste, that he still has the potential to do something better. Back to you. All right, Jesse, thank you.